Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you might remember my very first daily ruling, which was opalescence plus humility. That's a fan favorite question straight out of the judge vault, and today I'm going to be taking things up to the next level by considering what would happen if we had two opalescences and a humility. This adds an extra layer of complexity to the problem because opalescence doesn't affect itself. Having a second opalescence means that all three of these enchantments are going to be creatures and therefore lose all of their abilities. So what will be their characteristics? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, like with any of these continuous effects type questions, is to identify what layer each of these continuous effects acts in. If you're a little rusty on how continuous effects work, basically all continuous effects get parsed into layers based on what kind of things they do, and the relative order of the continuous effects is decided based on what layers that they're in. So for this situation, we've got Opalescence's type changing effect that takes place in layer 4, Humility's removing abilities, which happens in layer 6, and the power toughness setting that they both have, which happens in layer 7b. The next step after we've done this is to go through all of the layers and apply all the continuous effects as appropriate. So in layer 4, all three of these enchantments are going to become creatures. In layer 6, because all of these enchantments are now creatures, Humility is going to take away their abilities from all of them. And in layer 7, the power toughness setting is going to happen. Now, this is a little bit more interesting because there's two different power toughness setting effects that we have to contend with. Humility wants to make everything a 1-1, and Opalescence wants to make everything a 4-4. Ordinarily, when we do something like this, we're going to need to know the timestamps, in other words, which one started to apply first, in order to decide what the relative ordering is, since they all apply in the same sublayer. However, there's going to be a little bit of an interesting twist in this case. In order to properly answer this one, we're going to need a little piece of information that I glossed over originally. Maybe if you were paying really close attention, you might have spotted it. How is it that in layer 7, we can have humility and opalescence setting the power and toughness of objects when all of the abilities of those cards got removed in the previous layer? Give yourself an extra genius point if you knew the answer to this one, which is that any time a continuous effect starts to apply, it's going to continue to apply to the same set of objects in every subsequent layer and sublayer even if the ability that generates that continuous effect gets removed. Now, this is going to be the reason why we have Humility and Opalescence still trying to activate their continuous effects in layer 7 after they got removed, but I want everybody to pay attention to that extra word, the same set of objects. So, Humility applies to all three of these, so it's always going to want to make all three of these enchantment creatures into one ones. However, you can notice from Opalescence's wording that Opalescence does not apply to itself only to Humility and the other Opalescence. So in the case where Humility has the latest timestamp, it's going to apply last and it's going to make everything a 1-1. Same way, if Humility has the earliest timestamp, then Humility is going to apply first and make everything a 1-1, and then the Opalescences are going to overwrite that for all three of them and make everything be a 4-4. However, we get a really interesting kind of situation if we had Humility in between the two Opalescences timestamp-wise. The first opalescence would apply, and it would make the other opalescence and humility into 4-4s. Four then humility would apply and make everything into 1-1s. One After that, the second opalescence would apply, and because it doesn't apply to itself, it's going to make the first opalescence and humility into 4-4s, four but it's going to stay being a 1-1 one one itself. That's kind of weird, and we get this situation where the two opalescences are not the same power and toughness. This is something that even I hadn't considered until I went through this question in some detail. Unless you already knew about this one, I could definitely see it catching some people off guard. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.